Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play Super Mario RPG against the Guardian of Carol Sewers, Balone. Balomi, Balome, however you pronounce it. He's the first boss in the game that can inflict some status ailments on you, like Sleep or Scarecrow. A Scarecrow locks you out of your item and attack commands, but you can still use your special moves at full power, despite looking like a Scarecrow. Safe food soap! Fortunately, his regular physical attack is relatively easy to block there. And he's also weak to thunder! So let's use Thunderbolt on him. Shovel Lightning Bolt up his ass. Very nice. Easy enough. Let's see. Probably one more of each should be able to finish him off. If I can time them correctly. Yeah, Thunderbolt's a little tricky there. But I did win. Oh, what What do you mean? I don't believe you. We already drained all the water out of this place anyway. But thanks for not using your status ailments on you. Uh, the reason I gave the true form pin to Mallow is because Mario's going to be dealing the bulk of my damage. And I don't want him to get put to sleep. That's why I gave him the wake-up pin. Whereas if Mario gets turned into a scarecrow, he can still jump at full power anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, there's nothing there. What's that sound? No. Oh. Well, do something! Do something! Do something! There you go. Come on, get the gate close. Get it close. Get... Damn it, Mallow! And they died. Oh, so we dumped the sewer water right into the river. Great job, guys. Uh, no, this is pretty simple and straightforward here. So we'll just keep going. So what you can do here on this river is you can press the B button to swim, or at least fight, against the current there so you can get some coins along the way. Though I'm mostly only interested in the frog coins, but I'll take what I can get. Let's see, there's a cave down below, but there's nothing inside there, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I might be able to get that coin on the right there, but, you know, effort and all that. I'm gonna try and get as many of the rewards as I can from this little minigame sequence. But it's possible there's other things that I don't know about. Now, for the second cave, or at least the first one on the left there, we do want to go into that one. I think there's, like, a couple more frog points you can get in the Switch version than the Super Nintendo version, but it's not critical at all. So don't worry about it if you miss them. Oh, hey, there's a fire flower there. I could use that. Hey, get back here! All the enemies are trying to keep it away from each other, but they didn't realize I was here. But now, yeah, once you get through the cave, we got a trampoline. And we can explore the right side now. Let's see, I think I can get the coin on the left there and the frog coin on the right, though it'll be a little tricky. But, yeah, just start mashing the B button as you're moving over there. And hopefully I'll be able to make it. Mm, this is going to be close. A lot closer than I would have liked. Got it! Woo! Whew. I thought I was going to miss that one. I didn't mash quickly enough or early enough there. Okay, so I think I want to go to the right now. Yes, okay. Now, this one, yeah, we're just going to mash as much as I can, even though I can't go onto the rocks there, but we should be fine to get this one. And don't worry about anything that you miss along the way. You could do this again if you really wanted to, but I don't. We got the, what was it, four frog coins so far? I think that's about 
is all, all I can get on this route. And then I want to go into this cave. There we go. So yeah, when you go into these caves, you can't control anything. Everything that's happening is in the background beyond your control. But for going into those two caves, you can get a flower from each of them. So that's pretty nice. A little more FP out of the deal. But now, yeah, we're basically at the end. And we've got another mini game, and this time I actually do want Toad to explain it because I don't want to have to do it while I'm actually playing the mini game. So yeah, we got coins that we can collect. Don't worry, you can't fall off the barrel. If you run into a barrel, you'll get moved into a different course there there's the upper course and the lower one and sometimes there's more coins on one or the other of those or if you jump straight onto the next barrel you can stay on your current course which is how i want to start this oh yeah there's fish that leap out of water eventually okay so i want to start on the upper course then go down to the lower one for the next batch Grab some coins, stay on the lower course, and then I want to go on the upper one again. Whoop. Ooh, I'm surprised I dodged that. That was really close. Lower course. Yeah, I skipped jumping for that second coin because I figured there was going to be a fish there. Okay, go on the upper one again. Yeah, I'd rather avoid the fish than get, like, a couple extra coins. Whoa! That was dangerous. Stay on the lower course. Okay, now we want to go on the upper one. And there's a fish trying to catch up with me on that other course, although that wasn't a factor. Okay, stay on the lower one. Ooh. Ah! Oh, well. Go on the upper course, then. And then I want to stay on the upper course. And then the lower one for the last bit. And I think we made it. Let's see, how many did I get here? Hey, there we go. I wanted to get at least 60. So, not bad, not bad. Oh, okay. Hey, all right. Right, right, I got this. So we could go to Tadpole Pond now. Or we could... Well, let's see, total or whoever this guy is, will tell you something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, for completing the course the first time, we get a new weapon for Mario, Koopa Shell. He knows all about kicking those around. And, I mean, the timing is a bit different on it, but it's a little stronger than what we had before, so I will go with that. Sure, why not? So yeah, there's still a few more frog coins that I would like to get. So yeah, let's go back to the top and get the rest of the treasure along the way. I suppose you could go through the Carol series again and get thrown down here, but that would take longer. So why bother? No, nope, no, nope, I think we're good. Okay, so the same as before, I want to go on the left path at first, get whatever coins I can along the way. If I recall correctly, I think the frog coins are replaced by regular coins once you collect them the first time. So you can't just do it over and over and over again to get frog coins, or at least not from this segment. But, uh, well, the toad there would reward you if you get enough coins, but I don't need to farm them. Now, this time I want to skip the first cave. And then, if I can get that coin, great. If I can't, oh well. Okay, there, yeah, there's a frog coin. Why don't we get this one? And then, no, I can't get to that upper coin. Whatever, it's just one coin. And a regular one at that. And then, I want to go into this cave. Hey, lucky two! Well, I suppose they would be into fishing, I suppose. Whatever works. 
Hey! Thanks for hooking me up. Okay, and then, let's see. I want to go... Well, yeah, we're back to where the cave was. I want to go down the right path this time. And there's one more frog coin for us to get there. And this time, there's actually a few more coins that we can collect here, even though they're below where we exited the first time on this trip. Okay, got as many as we can get. I think the barrels are always in the same order, but I think they're different from the Super Nintendo version of the game. So if you're trying to do it in that version, yeah, it's going to be in different spots. So you want to be careful with that. Otherwise, stay on the upper path. Then we want to go on the lower path. Stay on the lower path. Okay, we're good. Whoop. Upper path. Then lower path after this one. Yeah, I figured there was a fish there. Okay, then on the upper path again. Yeah, I'd rather miss a coin than lose a whole bunch. Whoa. Okay, careful. Then upper path. Oh, okay. Well, I did that one wrong, but that's okay. Now we're on the upper path. Gonna want to go on the lower path. And stay on the lower path. Whew! Okay, upper path after this one. And then stay on the upper path. And then the lower path. And I think we're good! How many do we get out of this one? Aw, uh, yeah, I'm a little short on that, but whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm not gonna bother getting another frog coin. We have, we get more than enough, especially in this version, thanks to the special enemies. But now, we can head over to Tadpole Pond. Can Mallow handle the truth? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!